Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, A Late Gamer, and today we are doing something a little different. So I'm a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, and every once in a while, I pick up cards from Target uh, when they are there. Uh, most recently, I saw this at Target, and I, I picked up one of the first boxes maybe a year or so ago and uh, or whenever they did the the first round of this uh, card pack so uh, I decided I was going to start every once in a while doing some kind of like card unboxings or the card pull videos uh, I, I like watching them personally and I was like you know what somebody else might see something cool so we are going to open this pack and we're gonna see what we get. So uh, let's jump into it. So this cost me about 20 bucks uh, from Target. And during the pandemic, some of the Targets around me stopped carrying uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards because people were buying them in droves. Uh, free time at scalpers and people trying to flip them, you know, stuff happens, which I totally get. But uh, let jump into opening this. I'm going to probably keep repeating myself because I, this is new for me, uh, and it's also really exciting. Um, but when I saw that they had a whole box of these at my Target, I was like, you know what? I know this, I actually did not know the price. Uh, when it rang up, I was like, $20? All right, that's cool. Let's see what happens. Um, but I also almost never buy these, but when I see like a really cool either box art or something that piques my interest. I saw Dark Magician Girl on here and I was like, yep, we gonna open it. Uh, my, two of my favorite cards are Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl and a lot of the Magician archetypes. Uh, second runner up would probably be, um, oh my gosh, the Elemental Heroes and the Neo Elemental Heroes. I'm not having the best time opening this. There we go. All right, so apparently, according to pricecharting.com, uh, it's a great website if you are looking to figure out the, pri the actual price of the cards that you are pulling or even like cards that you have maybe in your collection already. Uh, it looks like the most rare cards starting from the uh, top down, uh, ungraded. Uh, it looks like Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Cyber Dragon, The Winged Dragon of Ross, Fear Mode, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend, and the Ultimate, or sorry, the Eye of Tamias. Those all seem to be the top nine cards. Ooh, backwards, cool. All right, so we have got Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes, Cyber Dragon, and the Archfiend Dragon. Hmm, decisions. I'm gonna save Dark Magician Girl for last. She's my favorite. We'll do Blue Eyes second to last, and we will do, let's see the Archfiend Dragon first. All right, let's see what we go with. Do, do. I also got a new ring light, so shout out to my little brother who gave this to me. He was not using it anymore, and I was like, all right, I'm going to create some badass content with this ring light. It's always the worst trying to get these open because you're like, you don't want to damage the cards, but I also keep the, the outside foil parts. I think they're cool every once in a while. I look back at them. Okay. There we go. Alright, first off, let's see what we get. Alright, we got a box of friends. Cute. We have the vampire sorcerer. Cool. And as I'm going through these, I will be putting the prices of these cards up on the screen so you can kind of gauge if I made my money back or not. This box was 20, so let's see what we get. Doom King Baldurok. Hopefully I said that correctly. Ooh, cool. 
I'm not even going to attempt that, but the boss of eternity. Nice. All right. So it looks like there's five cards a pack. All right. Let's move on to the next one. All right, I wanted to speed things up just a bit, so I went ahead and opened the card pack so they'd be easier to pull out and save some time on the video. Here is card pack number two. Cool, Vampire Grace. I love the artwork of some of these new cards. Despian Comedy. Chaos Greffer. Zombie World. Nice. And last but not least, Pendulum area. There we go. For some reason I wanted to say arena. That's really cool. All right. Blue eyes, white dragon. Coming up. All right. We've got altergeist failover. Cool. Master Hyperion. Nice. Vision hero Ferris. All right. So this was one to keep an eye out for. Um, I'm also a big fan, like I said earlier, of a lot of the hero cards. So this is really cool to see. And last but not least, Tinian Spirit Adara. I wanna know if a lot of these spirit cards are with the spirit charmers. I wanna say yes, I try and keep them all together. I have two massive binders. Uh, full of cards. I'll have to show off one day on here and show you all some of my favorite cards. And last but not least, Cocatarium, the Heavy Metal Avian. I probably butchered that first part, but you all get the idea. Nice. All right, moving on. Last but not least, that was Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl. Let's see what we're working with. All right. Dark Contract with the Gate, Cupid Pitch, Majesty Hyperion, another Hyperion card, cool. The Chorus of the Sky, and the Agent of Entropy, Entropy Uranus. That is really cool. All right. And that looks like it, it. It is it. So I will look over these prices and we will talk about it at the end of the video. And as you all saw, I went through and actually put all the cards into the TCG app and also on the price charting website and pleasantly surprised uh, with the price differences. Uh, as you all saw, uh, there was actually a considerable price difference between TCG and price charting. Um, I decided to go with the lowest number on price charting just to be on the more conservative side of things. Uh, you know how it is sometimes when you try listing things on the internet, people want it for the lowest possible price. Uh, and if it's not super rare, uh, they want it for even less. So interestingly enough, according to the price charting prices, uh, I actually broke even uh, and made away with a $4.62 profit which was awesome. Uh, however, according to the TCG version of things, uh, I was in the negative uh, quite quite uh, a lot. Uh, according to TCG, it looks like I made away with $7.62 of cards. Uh, however, at this time, I will not be selling these. Uh, these are going in my personal collection uh, unless somebody watches this video and is like, I want to buy this card. So... If anybody sees any of these cards they want and they want to buy it from me, let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, these will be going in my collection and 
in the proverbial Yu-Gi-Oh vault. Um, I was very interested in the price differences also. Um, some of these cards on the high end have sold for about $30, 30 plus dollars uh, on, I guess eBay is where price charting pulls their info from. Uh, this is still a relatively new site for me. Uh, this is also a great reference point if you are trying to list stuff online. Uh, I use it to keep track of my video games. Uh, more recently, I have been looking into vinyl pricings and also uh, obviously Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon card pricings. So with that being said, let's jump into the last part of the video. And one last thing, leave a like if you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if I should do more stuff like this. If you all wanna see card opening videos, if you all wanna see my collection of Pokemon cards and or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, I have them broken down very interestingly. Uh, I have a binder of like all my favorite cards and I've also got a binder of like commons and I have it all broken down a really fun way for my, uh, uh, oh my gosh, my storage purposes. It just makes finding them way easier when I'm looking for specific cards or uh, organizing them when I'm trying to store them. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one.